I don't know why this keeps happening. Hi everyone. Welcome back to another vlog. If you're new here, my name is Alicia and I am opening up a small handmade shop. I named it Coffee and Clover because I just believe that sometimes you need some coffee and good luck to get you through the day. At least I do. In today's vlog, you're going to notice there are a lot of ups and downs. It's a bit of a roller coaster of emotions that I went through. Um, we had some really exciting new things, and then we had some letdowns. I also finally had my dad install the shelf in my room, and so we have a tiny bit of a makeover going on. So I hope you enjoy the vlog, and let me know what you think. So it's the next day, and I just inspected my baked clays. This half has a bunch of cracks in it, and then this half doesn't. So I have no idea what entirely happened with the baking process, but yeah, clearly it's no good. I'm gonna see if I can patch up as many of these as I can. Some of them are like really bad, like this guy, where it's like his whole face. And so I might just have to redo this guy completely. The back of his head. Um, this guy too has like a giant one just on the side here. I hear that you can kind of patch him up with some glue, but it's just disappointing. So I feel like it might just be that the oven temperature is too hot and hopefully that's the case and I'll just bake them at a lower temperature next time. Hi everyone, it's the next day. I went to Home Depot today and I got myself a ceramic tile. And so I'm hoping that if I bake on this, that it'll help lessen the cracking maybe. I'm not entirely sure what the issue is to be honest still. So that's my somewhat test of a solution. Hopefully that works. I'm also going to look at the oven thermometer to see exactly what it's at before I start baking because I do set my oven to 275 and I do have an internal thermometer but I just never check it. I don't even know if that one's accurate to be perfectly honest um but that's kind of my thought and then currently I added some little like paint eyes to these guys really cute um kind of just brings her more to life which I love and I'm also just filling in any of the cracks that are currently there with paint. That seems to actually be a really good solution. I don't know if it'll work for everything, but it's currently working for some of the more like hairline cracks. So I'm happy about that. And yeah, so that's kind of what I'm working on right now. Okay, so I sanded up some of the pieces and now we are finally gonna start sculpting. So I got myself another cup of coffee, coffee number three of the day. So yeah, let's get started. I was thinking about it last night and like I'm, I can tell that I'm not as used to vlogging as I am live streaming like I used to because I'm always wanting to ask for like your opinion and your input on things and like I want that immediate answer and I don't get that anymore and it's like oh I have to make the decisions what the heck and then you guys can see what decision I made after but that's like a weird feeling you know when you always like had people to kind of just ask whatever questions. I will say vlogging suits my social style of like needing to. Well, I'm just like an introvert. So I love going to see my friends, but if I were live streaming and I needed to see my friends, it would be very exhausting for me. And so definitely doing just one or the other would often happen. I don't know how these extroverts do it. It's definitely impressive, I will say that. 
and finish the rest of the ears. I'll be back. I forgot to film anything else while I was working, but I finished the girls. They're so cute with their little bows. Ugh, guys. I don't know why this keeps happening. They cracked again, not too much, but like there's a clear crack like here and like even right there. And like I baked them for an hour too and now they just look toasty and like, ah, I just don't know why it keeps happening. I feel stressed because I thought that, I don't know, maybe the change in temperature and the different tile would have been better for baking but clearly not and so i don't know why it keeps cracking and i keep looking it up online and i still can't find anything so if anyone knows anything at all please let me know and hopefully i figure this out sooner than later unless this is just normal like it always has hairline cracks and breaks and stuff like this but i don't think that's normal hi everyone Okay, so I just finished doing uh, my cousin's lashes today, which is why I'm dressed in all black because I like to make sure that I don't accidentally get the glue on my clothes because that has happened, especially on my lighter clothes and I had to get rid of them. Um, but today I finally got my special package, which I'm really excited about. I bought myself an air purifier. Ooh. So we're going to set this up together. I have no idea. Um how to set it up, but I'm assuming it's really simple. I have seen people making the mistake of accidentally leaving the plastic on the filter. So we're gonna make sure we don't do that. Um, but I'm really excited for this because I hear it, it will overall help just like your health. And I have like, I just have like the smallest issues where it's nothing to like go to the doctor about or anything, but I always get like little like small symptoms of almost getting sick and then I don't get sick. And so I'm hoping, especially with being at home a lot more, this will help. I also have my humidifier going on, which is why you see like this mist. Um, so especially with the winter and fall coming, it gets really, really dry here. Um, so I'm really hoping that that helps too. And yeah, I'm excited for this. It's a lot smaller than I thought, to be honest. I thought it was going to be like maybe double this, one and a half or double this, but it's a good like desk size. I guess it's the same size as my uh, humidifier. So I think it'll work fine and it'll just sit on the ground somewhere. Let's set it up. Okay, so apparently you could put essential oils in it, which is really cool because you're not supposed to do that in humidifiers. And so maybe I might get myself some essential oils. Cause that sounds nice. So I kind of read through it all and it seems pretty straightforward. We're just going to take the plastic off, unscrew the bottom, the cord is in here with the filter, um, and then we're going to assemble it all and then plug her in. So I have it all set up. She is really tiny, like, like a little. But hopefully helps me have clean air. Here's my humidifier. So yeah, I like it. It's actually like, I'm so surprised how quiet it is on um, sleep mode. Like you can't even hear it. So that'll be really good. I don't think I'll set the timers on it, even though you can. I feel like at least for the first day or two, just to get out everything in the air, I'm just gonna have it run. And then hopefully that doesn't kill the filter too quickly because it does say to change it every three to six months so but i'm happy with it yay
Hi everyone. So my dad just came home from golfing today and so I've been really wanting to put up my shelves finally. So I asked him and he said after he eats, he will be free. So we're gonna quickly do that, but right now, my room's a bit of a mess, but this is what my room currently looks like. And so we're hoping to add a shelf just on this wall here so I can move a bunch of like that stuff, hopefully. I still want it to look cute and not like a crowded shelf, so we'll see. But yeah, I have all my figures laying around everywhere. <laughs> my half drinking, drinking? Half drunk? Tim Hortons, more coffee, my little desk buddies. I'm so excited to show you what I was drawing up and thinking of last night, um, but we're not gonna do any clay today, so that'll wait until tomorrow. My friend Jody is also coming over because we're gonna do our nails. So the last that you'll see of my little pumpkin and fall leaves, um, we're gonna do Halloween nails. No idea what I want yet, I might do I don't know, white with black tips, and then like a spider web or something. That's like what I have in my head, but not 100% sure yet. Um, but yeah, so we're gonna be doing that today, tonight. Um, but it's already 2.49, almost three. I have to go pick her up at five. I also wanna go to Michael's real quickly for the millionth time, um, cause I really wanna get translucent clay. I wanna try some new things. I drew up like a bunch of things last night and I'm so excited to try to bring them to life and to share them with you, but that will be a tomorrow thing because we're not doing any sculpting today. Okay, I didn't clean like a whole, whole lot, but it looks a lot better. I don't know what needs to be moved in particular, so, and I have nowhere to really move them, so I think this is good at least for now. It's just reset. No. No, no, no. I don't move. Oh yeah, you said Oh, you need it? Yeah, all the fiber from there. Yeah, around, around here. Mm. Okay, yeah, we have. Yeah. Oh, yeah, you said It's so cute. Okay, now that we have the shelf up, I do need to quickly put some stuff on it. Um, so that way I can clear up some of this space, at least a little bit. Um, it's not too cluttered, but I would like it cleaner. So yes, we're gonna clean all this up a bit and then go from there. Now, keep in mind, I am still not great at interior designing. I'm still trying to learn and figure it all out. And so it may not look super cute the first time around, but we'll keep playing around with it eventually. And I'm sure something cute will come out of it. I hope. So this is my space for now. I'm not huge on what I have up there still, as I said, but I'll think of something more decorative than just my wine collection. Um, but oh my gosh, it opened up so much space on my desk, which is so nice. I think I might get another little riser to put here. Not 100% sure yet, but look how much space I have. I need to add my mouse pad back, but it looks so good. I'm kind of tired, but for the most part, my room is good. I just have to quickly vacuum everything um, so that way it's clean and then I'll be all good for my girls' night. I'm so excited to paint my nails. I'm just driving over. 
over to go grab Jody right now. Um, she's just done work and she is nearby at Michael's and so I'm gonna stop by Michael's as well. Got the goods. Guys, look, Jody and I went to like an Asian Mart, which I didn't know existed, and they have like the cutest bubble tea. So I'm gonna try this one because I've been thinking about tarot. <laughs> Jody's hiding in the in the back. She doesn't want to be in camera. <laughs> Yum. And then I have bean sprouts as well because we haven't had those. Oh my gosh, it's Pokemon ones. Oh yeah, and soup dumplings. We're gonna have some ramen. <laughs> Jody that we could just use foil. <laughs> She's not impressed, but hopefully it works. <laughs> so then we're making ramen. <laughs> yeah, it's a little <laughs> kind of broke. <laughs> Yum. <laughs> Why are you Okay, so this is so random, and don't ask me why I did this because I don't know. I'm clearly bored or something, but I remember being able to animate things back when I streamed because like f you could make animated um, like emotes that subscribers use. And so I remember that I was shown how to do that. And so this is my original character that I have. And I kind of figured it would be cute if he's like in an outro, um, waving. So then I made him wave and this is, this is what he looks like as a gif, guys. Isn't he so cute? I'm actually in love. That's actually so cute. But oh my goodness, it took, you'd be very surprised to hear that like, just animating that simple wave probably took like 30 minutes to do, maybe even longer. But oh. It turns out so fun. So we'll be using it. So today is October 17th. Good morning. I didn't end up doing any clay work yesterday like I said I was going to with my ideas. Um, and then today, what am I even saying right now? Okay, I'm resetting and hoping that I can say this properly. But yeah, today I'm not feeling super great. Um, I'm taking this new medication and it's just, just, I'm so prone to side effects and it's not making me feel that fantastic. So I was just gonna be a bum all day, but I have things to do. And so I just wanted to push through it because honestly it does make me feel better. Just like refreshing. I showered, I did my makeup and that always makes me feel so much better. So yeah, I just feel more put together overall. Uh, but I just finished filming, I'm sure you could tell by what I'm wearing, the intro to my very first vlog that I'm very excited about. I hope that I don't sound too cheesy. I'm sure looking back it's gonna make me cringe, but is what it is. Um, and so today um, I am hoping to at least get some sort of clay done or even just um, some beanies done. I still haven't shared that with you yet, so I will in a moment. But I decided, like, I have always loved crocheting. It's been one of my loves for the longest time that I am on and off with. Also, my new Halloween nails. Fun. Um, but yeah, so I decided, well, if I'm doing a handmade cozy collection, why not just also throw in some beanies? Like... It's something that when I streamed, a lot of people always wished that they could have, but I wasn't very confident in my abilities of crocheting at that time. Like, they still look nice, but to sell them, I was always not as confident, whereas now I feel like I have practiced more, I am a lot better, and so I feel more confident doing that. So I haven't completely finished them yet, but I have two colors, this like beautiful like greenish blue teal, turquoise, whatever you want to call it, 
and then just like a cozy white. So I have these two right here that I haven't finished. I just gotta cinch the tops up. Um, but I kind of want to see what it looks like if I tie them or cinch them like straight and if they do like that cute cat ear effect because that might look super adorable and then they would just fold up. But yeah, so I have these right now. Coffee is definitely cold now. There's like none of it left, but cup one of the day. We're almost done with the vlog. There is a lot to it. Oh my gosh, it keeps going. So it's about 20 minutes, which is not too bad, honestly. But yeah, it's almost done. I'm happy with how it's turning out. I hope you guys like it too. Creating this OC Herschel character that I fell in love with. I don't know about you, but I guess it's because I've watched this like a million times while editing and everything, but when I get to this point of like the final review, the vlog just feels so like boring to me, and I think it's just because I've seen so much of it in a short like span of time, and I know exactly what's coming, what's gonna happen, and so it makes me want to like chop it up more just to like speed it up and everything, but then I feel like maybe it's not boring i don't know maybe you guys can tell me um because by the time this comes out maybe this will be like the third or fourth vlog and so you can let me know like hey they're kind of long and boring can you speed them up more because <laughs> for me definitely it was fun the first time i watched it and now it just i don't know i'm like it's still going <laughs> I'll show you closer even though you'll already like see it in the vlog. But cute! Good night everyone! <laughs> I am rendering the vlog right now. I'm still crocheting. I've got now my mood lights on in the room. So that's just kind of how the day is. I can't believe the day is already over. I literally just started it because I got out of bed so late. I got out of bed at like 2 p.m. It was, I had the worst sleep of my life last night and so yeah, it feels weird that the day's already over but I'm kind of feeling like I'm just getting started so yeah. Tomorrow I have actual stuff to do and so hopefully I feel like better and more motivated and I'm happy that I got this done though because this makes me feel good and accomplished. I've been working on the vlog, I work on it a little bit each day of the week and especially because I want to do weekly vlogs, I'm definitely going to A, have to get faster at editing, but also take that like one hour a day or whatever it is so I can get them done. Because it is a lot harder to just do like eight hours worth. So I'd rather do like four hours one day, four hours another day or something. I think in total this probably still took me like eight hours to edit. I'm very slow at editing. But yeah, I'm happy with the progress. I hope you guys like it. Like it? Liked it? It would already be out. So. Anyways, goodbye.